Okay, so let's flick from here over to our 12C demo environment. And as you can see, if you've looked at the pattern matching podcasts, we're using the same schema. So we have a 12C database. We have a user called PM user, and we're using a table called ticker. We're using three columns, symbol, timestamp, and price. And the data looks like this. So we have our three symbols, Globex, Oscorp, Acme. We have data running from the 1st of April to the 20th of April for each symbol. And we have the price. So now let's take one of our business questions that we had, which was let's create a moving average for a stock price. So how would we do that? The first thing we need to do is obviously select the symbol. We need to select the timestamp, the price, and then we want to compute the average price. Now you'll notice here that we have some additional keywords, which is where we start our SQL analytics processing. So we're going to over this average and we're going to group our data by symbol, which means that for each symbol, we will only be interested in the price data for that symbol. Because we're creating a moving average, we need to order the data by the timestamp. And in this case, I've got 20 days. So I'm actually going to reset at the end of the 20th of April anyway. So I'll take the current row plus 19 days preceding as the range interval for my average. And I'll rename the column as M price. And we'll select that from our table ticker. So let's just execute that. As you can see, it comes back fairly quickly. So here's our first symbol, Acme. Starts on the 1st of April. Price, 12. Moving average, 12. And then as we start to increase the number of rows, our moving average, 14.5, 16, and so on, until we get to 20th of April, final price is 22, moving average 19.15. Then the next row, we start a new symbol, Globex, it's 1st of April, price is 3, moving average resets. Then we take 2nd of April and we keep going till we get to the 20th of April where our final price is five and our final moving average is 7.95. Next is Oscorp, a new symbol, price 22, moving average resets and starts computing a new moving average for us. And the final moving average for Oscorp is 13.95. So if we head back to our presentation, we'll take this SQL statement apart and look at it in a bit more detail.